Welcome to Whale.com. I'm Paul, your host, and today's episode is based on a viewer request from the UK that has to do with oxypropane cutting. Longtime viewer Ashley Harrod writes, Hey guys, I've recently purchased an oxygen propane starter kit with torch, tips, flashback resters, etc. So I've been trying to get a clean cut and mess with the settings, but still getting a lot of bubbled up slag on the underneath of the cut, which seemed to be welding the cut back together. Any chance you guys could do a troubleshooting video explaining what to do to fix common problems? Well, Ashley, this one's for you. Now, a lot of you are probably familiar with oxycetylene cutting since it's more commonly used on the job site due to its higher heat and ability to cut that much faster. It is a well-known fact that acetylene produces a sharper and more focused flame than propane. As a matter of fact, acetylene generates 40% of thermal energy in the inner flame cone, unlike propane, which generates less than 10% thermal energy. Another advantage of acetylene is that you can gas weld with it, which you can't with propane since it doesn't have the reducing zone to clean the steel surface like acetylene does. For your information, because of the heat input, Difference, the cutting tips are designed differently, so they are not interchangeable. So, good thing about Thermacut is this is their acetylene tip, and it's a one-piece tip. And then this is the propane tip, and it'd make it hard to get it mixed up because it's totally different design, because it's for a totally different gas. And that's a good thing about Thermacut when they engineered these, is it's hard to get them mixed up. So you can determine your propane from your settling tips. And you'll also notice all tips are numbered to help match proper material thickness. And guides are available from all manufacturers and should be followed to get the best results. Also remember to use a tip cleaner so the tip is free of debris and that you make good quality cuts. With all settling's advantages, why use propane? Well, it's cheaper, much easier to come by, especially here in the States where you can find it pretty much anywhere at home improvement stores or where barbecue supplies are sold. I'm going to go through some setup and show you some common mistakes and talk you through the do's and the don'ts so you can get quality results every time. And Ashley, hopefully this helps you solve your problem. First off, as you can see, I got all my components to set up this propane cutting rig. And it's really no different from a, a settling cutting rig. It's left-handed thread, you know what I'm saying? Just like a settling is. And the oxygen's a right-handed thread, so, and it has the little notches in the gauge. But I'm going to use the acetylene gauge from Thermocut and the cutting tip. So let's get started. So first we'll put on the, the fuel gauge or the propane gauge. Next I'll put the oxygen on. And this is a right-handed thread. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. That simple. And then the opposite for the left-handed thread. So what I'll do now is I'll take my adjustable inch millimeter, inch millimeter wrench for a left-handed or right-handed guy. <laughs> so here we go. Left-handed thread for the gas, propane, and the normal righty-tighty lefty-loosey for the oxygen. And of course you have the spark arresters on there. Thanks thermal cut for the spark arresters tip, gauges, and of course the nice Harris torch. So we got everything connected. So what I need to do is turn the tanks on. So rule of thumb, crack it in a quarter turn. And a lot of people don't realize, but the reason why it's supposed to be done like that, it's a safety precaution that if you do have something, if the line, if the hose is 100 feet away and it gets cut or something, that when the person runs over here, they don't have to turn it 15 or 20 times just to get the gas to shut off. So this way you just quickly just shut it down just like that. So it's just a safety precaution. So that's on. And then of course the oxygen, got the bottles energized with the pressure on it. And one good habit to, to get into is always taking soapy water or a Contesco oxygen gas system testing that you can use 
to check all your connections. So it's real simple to do. You energize everything like it's already energized and you pour it on the fittings, all the screw fittings to make sure nothing's leaking. Just a little dab will do you. And you can do this with some Dawn. Oh, got a little, no, I thought I had a bubble. And of course, check the torch. You know, if you're inside and you have a leak, that is, not good, because you could blow up. So what I'll do next is we'll get it set up and I'm gonna do a couple don'ts and then I'm gonna fix them with the do's. So hopefully this helps you, Ashley. So th this is the case that Ashley looks like she's having. As you can tell on the gauges, I'm really low on the, on the propane and really low on the oxygen and I was moving too fast. So hopefully this helps you, Ashley. I hope that's what you were getting there. So I showed you the mishap that we had about traveling too fast. It welded itself out together. Gauge is not adjusted correctly. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna adjust the, the gauges correctly on about 40 for the oxygen and about six or seven for the for the propane on a 3 8 thick plate and uh, we'll see what kind of results we get. Ready? You definitely want to preheat. That's pretty. So if you preheat it correctly, you take your time, your speed, and everything with your, you know, your hand coordination, and you keep really consistent, you can come up with some nice quality cuts with that, just using propane. And the good thing about the propane is, you can get it at Home Depot, Walmart, the gas station, if they got, you know, propane tanks out there for sale or so, you know, it's, it's everywhere and it's cheap. So, and it works. You can definitely see that. So what I'm gonna do next is I got a one inch piece of steel that I'm gonna cut through and see how I can see how good it cuts. So let's get going. Got a little bit of slag, but um, it cut through it pretty clean. I mean, that's that's pretty clean. As you can see too, I mean, it's there's a little slag on it, but not much. But I guarantee it'll it'll, it'll fall right off, just like that. Look. Oop. So the myth is you can cut with propane and guess what? Cook with it too. <laughs> the myth is you can't cut with propane. You can cut with propane. Who said you can't? I said No, I said the myth that you can't cut with propane. Right. You can cut with propane. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah. And cook. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, I hope you liked the video. Be sure to connect with us directly at weld.com and download our app, Weld. Make valuable industry connections. E-learn with our educational curriculum developed by industry professionals. 
showcase your work or business, and much more. Join the global welding community and download our app, Weld Today. See you on the next one.